I'm never stepping foot in the helicopter. Over the past couple months, I've seen these things dropping out of the sky like rock. They're like rock. I mean, it's a proven fact that once helicopters' blades stop spinning, they drop. Airplanes can at least like glide down, but with a helicopter, there is no getting out. As soon as the engine's cut off, you're dead, period. So why am I doing a review on Blade Helicopters, the on-demand helicopter app? You know, I was asking myself the same question when I started to research this review and wondering if I should even publish this. But what I found out shocked me. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Wise, I'm with Life Tailored, and we teach you how to make life amazing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you never miss out on amazing life hacks every single Monday. And if you wanna see how far points and miles can take you, then follow us on Instagram, at Life Tailored. Myth, as soon as a helicopter's blades stop spinning, they'll crash like a rock out of the sky. Let's play a little bit of Mythbusters here. So I went into this video thinking that as soon as a helicopter's blades stop spinning, they drop like a rock falling from the sky. What I found out is, surviving a helicopter's engine going down versus a plane's engine going down, a helicopter is actually safer than a plane. Helicopters are actually designed with the assumption that the blades may stop spinning, and what they do is they disengage the motor and allow the blades to spin without the engine so that the pilots can land them safely. The way they do it is via auto rotation of the main rotor blades. This is one of the most important things that helicopter pilots are taught when they're learning to fly the plane. And it's something that every single helicopter pilot has to master before they're able to fly in the sky. I actually was just looking through one of the most recent helicopter crashes in the past couple of months. And it turns out the helicopter did crash, but the pilot did exactly as he was instructed. He put out the life preservers, he did the last minute pull up of the nose of the helicopter, which allowed it to land properly, and he was perfectly fine. When executed properly during an emergency, helicopters can actually land perfectly, even without the engines working at all. And that's why I decided to do this review of Blade on-demand helicopters and private planes and private seaplanes. Because of the fact that helicopters actually aren't so dangerous after all, and maybe I should be a little bit concerned about promoting all of this airline travel I've been talking about on this channel for the past year. But either way, planes, helicopters, whatever it is, it's all dangerous, it's all safe. You gotta live your life one day at a time, take every moment to enjoy it. So the best way I've ever actually enjoyed one of our Sundays is on a recent Blade helicopter trip. So this is going back about four years ago when there was this app called Reserve. So Reserve is kind of like a open table competitor where you could reserve experiences or tables. And Reserve actually was acquired by Resi and Resi was acquired by American Express. So yay, consolidation. But basically what happened is Reserve was doing a one day special. I think it was a Saturday evening, they pushed out the special. It was only about $1,100 for a round trip flight out to the Hamptons, including drinks, poolside, rosé, all you can eat, for a single Sunday experience. As soon as we saw it pop up on the app, we booked it. We said, hey, for $5.50 a person, we're never gonna get access to private helicopters, we're never gonna get this amazing experience in the Hamptons, let's go for it. So basically what happened is, Sunday morning, we woke up, 8 a.m., got to the Midtown West Blade Lounge, sipped on some rosé, jumped on the helicopter. Within 30 minutes, we were out in Southampton. We landed, got into an Escalade. They whisked us away to a resort with a pool, bottles of rosé, a five course lunch, and it was basically one of the best Sundays we've ever had. From going from Brooklyn at 8 a.m. to the Hamptons by 12 p.m. to back home by 5 p.m. It really sold me on the power of how amazing helicopters can be and how transformed it can be to your overall life and luxury travel experiences. Ever since that first Blade flight, I've wanted to learn as much as I can about Blade and offer a full review for you guys so you can check it out for yourself. Now, if you guys do want to check out Blade, they've got locations all over New York. They fly to and from JFK, LaGuardia in super quick round trip times, as well as they have stuff down to Florida from New York, as well as they're doing a bunch of stuff in LA, Coachella, San Francisco, all sorts of stuff. Main point being, Blade is expensive, so if you do want to give it a try, I've got a promo code. It gets you $50 off your first flight. I'm putting the code down below, but also use the code ANDREWW53, and you're going to get $50 off your first Blade flight, and 25 bucks goes back to me, so I can keep creating content and hopefully get another review of Blade coming to you guys soon. Now, everything we do on this channel is based on questions that you guys ask in the comments. If you have any questions about Blade or any other service, let me know down in the comments. I reply to every single comment, and I'm here to answer your questions and create 
fun videos for you to watch. So right now I'm gonna walk you through everything that Blade has to offer, all of their different routes. But first I'm gonna kick things off talking about the history of Blade and what you need to know going into this service. So Blade itself got founded back in 2014. And the company itself is a tech company. They don't own any of the helicopters, private planes or anything. They lease them or they do a partner share with these preferred airlines or helicopter companies. It's similar to the Uber model where Uber doesn't actually own any cars and they just partner with drivers. But with Blade, the main difference is since you're being flown around in a helicopter or a private plane, you have to make sure they do a bunch of safety checks. And that's kind of what Blade is there for. They're vetting all of these different pilots, all of these different aircraft, and they're only accepting in the creme de la creme, the best sort of aircraft they think can fly people safely, quickly, and comfortably, or luxuriously. And that's why I like Blade. They have a great branding, have had a great experience every time we've interacted with them, whether it's through Instagram, customer service, or the actual day of the flight. It really feels like a polished experience and they know what they're doing and I trust them to keep us safe. So the idea was a Blade was back in 2014, it was extremely hard to get to the Hamptons for a, a summer vacation. If you're driving from New York, it takes maybe three or four hours. If you're taking the train, it takes about three hours. Using Blade, you can get to the Hamptons, Montauk, in around 30 to 55 minutes, which is a pretty amazing experience. Plus, you're in a helicopter, they give you a rosé sippy cup, and it's one of the easiest and fastest ways to get to the Hamptons. Now, I'm going to walk you guys through all the different Blade options. I'm going to jump onto the computer. You can watch my screen here and see everything Blade has to offer. So, Blade today has got a ton of different options. They've got their main sort of bounce product, which is basically going to and from Manhattan to either JFK or LaGuardia. Let's check out how much things are right now. So if you want to fly from West 30th Street or East 34th Street or even Wall Street to LaGuardia, if we're going to JFK, it's $195 per seat. And it takes about, let's see if we have the timing here. I think it's about 20 to 30 minutes to do this trip. I know going to JFK during rush hour can take upwards of an hour and a half. The one thing to notice though is the commercial carry-on is only 25 pounds. So if you're going on a long international trip like I do and my luggage is often in the 60 pound range, you're not gonna be able to use Blade. This is more so for business travelers. Wade just went to Boston yesterday. This would be a super easy way for her to get to and from the airport because literally she had no bags with her. So this is the Blade Bounce, the Blade Airport product. Expensive, but if your time is valuable, really great resource for uh, daily commuters. They also have sort of um, one-off sort of adventures. They're doing something with the chain smokers. Oh, and it just features a music video. Okay, sorry about that. Um, some of the cool stuff. So let's check out the Hamptons. These are the pretty typical things you see. So the flights, if you're leaving from West 30th Street to East Hampton, you're gonna be in the Bell 407, it's gonna be $7.95 a seat. That's way more than I would ever spend, but for a once in a lifetime experience, or if you have a house out there, or if you have a Blade Pass, it's one of the easiest and best ways to get to the Hamptons. It's only 39 minutes door to door. Let's check out these um, passes. I know this is one of the things I always check out ways to save money when you're checking out these really expensive things. Uh, let's see. Right now I've got $325 in credits, thank you, thanks to you guys signing up for Blade. Um, let's see, gift season passes, gift of flight, let's see. So for checking out one way, where's the season pass? Okay, so say we're, we've rented a house in Nantucket, we have family there, and we're going there every weekend. Blade gives you 15% off or over $8,000 in savings. So what you're getting is one way from Manhattan to Nantucket, and you're getting, how many flights are you getting? It must be a total season, so you know probably something like May until August, unlimited but I'd love to learn more about this. Let's see. So one of the cool things I do want to show you guys besides these season passes is the Florida Adventures.
But real quick, let's talk about these Blade Airport Passes. So these are more within reach of the everyday person. So a Blade Airport Pass is going to be 145 bucks. You're going to get $50 off every Blade Airport flight you take within the first 12 months of purchase, and you can go between JFK, Newark, or LaGuardia. These really work if you live in Manhattan. I live in Brooklyn, so it doesn't make a ton of sense. But the Airport Pass is only 295 bucks. And it brings the average price, and it brings the price down from 195 bucks down to 145 bucks. And you get 25 bucks off companion seats. So if Wayne needs to fly with me, that's a perfect sort of savings. You know, if we lived back in the city, I would definitely do this sort of thing. If we're flying enough and really need to get out of the city really quickly, and our time is super valuable, this is a great option. So now real quick, I wanna walk you guys through the actual Blade Lounge. So this is one of the coolest experiences they have. So unlike when you're flying through the airport where there's tons of security and it's just a cacophony of noise and mess and chaos, the Blade Lounges are what I imagine it must've been like flying back in the 50s and 60s when everything was just like luxurious, there was no security, and it's basically just a fun clubhouse. They have you know open bar, you can get all the rosé you want, Everybody's just hanging out. Everyone's sophisticated, cool, and good looking. And you just kind of feel like you're living this lifestyle you don't really have every day. But for a moment, you can have it with this Blade Lounge. So overall, Blade on demand helicopters, on demand private planes, on demand seaplanes. It's a great sort of novel luxury escape. If you've done everything, if you've traveled everywhere, I think Blade is the next adventure you and your wife or you can take. It's a fun, amazing experience. I still remember our Sunday, we went out to the Hamptons using Blade, and I can't wait to check it out again. It is very pricey, it all depends on what your budget is, but if it's something you do wanna try out, they have $50 off, there's ways to just do a Blade bounce from the airport for 195 bucks. It's a really fun, amazing experience. Will be amazing for the gram. And in general, let me know what you guys think. Will you be willing to consider Blade? Is it something you'd like to do as maybe a bucket list sort of thing? And if you guys got all the way to the end of the video and you like this video and wanna see more of them, smash the like button so I can keep creating more amazing content like this. Remember guys, if you do wanna try out Blade, use my promo code to get $50 off. It's Andrew W53, and there's also a link down below. And now that you're hooked on this video, check out this playlist I have over here. It's got a ton of more amazing life hacks, like how to fly in a private bed in the sky for only 86,000 miles. And while you're watching the video, check us out on the gram, at Life Tailored. You can see how far points and miles can take you. I got a new video coming out this Monday. I'll see you guys then, and also I'll see you on this upcoming playlist.